Hey folks, this is my first video of 2021. So I wanted this video to be a check-in and a craft with me. So let's go ahead and handle the first part, which is the check-in. I went back through my YouTube channel and noticed that I hadn't posted any content here in about three months. And the truth is I wanted to, I had plans and ideas, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. My anxiety was through the roof. For those of you that don't know, I am a professor and teaching in a pandemic is, was, and will probably continue to be extremely difficult. If you know a teacher in your life, this probably isn't a surprise to you. And so while I was still crafting and doing stuff around the house and making things and decorating for the holidays, I just couldn't bring myself to put in the extra effort that it takes to map out the video content, film, stop, start again, edit, etc. If you've done video content, you know how difficult and um, anxiety inducing it could actually be, right? And so I just wanted to take a moment to be transparent with you about that. Um, and I would invite you in the comments to also check in and let me know how you've been doing. So for those of you that might be new around these parts, I am Tempest and this is Times with Tempest. Times with Tempest is a lifestyle channel and blog. And I essentially just share whatever Tempest is into at the time. Now that's typically crafts and DIY projects um, stuff around the house, seasonal decorating, but I have a little bit of ADD, so you're pretty much just going to always get me, and I'll try to stay true to that. So my goal for the year is to be a little bit more consistent here on YouTube and on Instagram and on my blog, um, and so here's to a great start with that, right? Um, so now that I've taken some time to check in, I want to move into the second part of the video, which is crafting with me. I'm gonna work on a craft project, but before I get started, I want to introduce you to the um, way that this crafting session is gonna go and kind of how it fits and what all I have going on. All right, so what I have right here is a box and it looks like a pizza box. That's because it is a pizza box, but it says a moment in time. And A Moment in Time is a monthly subscription, craft subscription box that I created at the beginning of the year so that I could um, share crafting projects with other folks, connect with other people that are interested in crafting. One of the difficult things for me as a crafter is coming up with new ideas, right? And so having something like that is extremely beneficial. Each month, you'll get a new project delivered to your door and it'll have all of the materials, instructions for you to follow that you need to create a really easy but really fun and beautiful project that you can display in your home. So that sounds like something you might be interested in. You can check out more details in the description box or you can hang out with me for a few more minutes and I can explain it in more detail, showing and telling and completing the project. Stay tuned for more. For hanging out for the second part of the video. So before I get into actual crafting, the dogs always lose their mind at the moment I need to do something. I want to do an unboxing, right? So if you were to get a moment in time um, DIY kit sent to your home, hopefully you all can see this. It will be wrapped instead of using traditional tissue paper. It will be wrapped using a crafting paper um, that way you can protect the space. And then once you open it, you'll have the detailed step-by-step uh, -step instructions telling you what to do. You'll also obviously have the video tutorial. I'll be able to help you with that. I'll include um, just a regular old paper plate so that you can use it as a paint palette. In a, what is this called? Shrink wrap bag, you'll have paint options, right? Um, in condiment cups and then some makeup wedges to do any dabbing of paint if you want to, any type of adornment or decorative piece like twine or ribbon, I'll be sure to give you that as well. A paintbrush, um, because it is a 3D piece, you will need some glue, so I have a small glue tube there for you. And then I'm also going to include a wet wipe, um, and you'll see why in a second, but 
there's a painting technique where you're able to kind of whitewash um, paint onto wood surfaces using a moist wipe that way you instead of using a traditional paintbrush you don't have to wait as long for the paint to dry um it almost gives it like a wet like i said a whitewash or a stained effect um and then so all of your items are in that little baggie you get the actual bare bones wood craft so this is the january option it says the best is yet to come and so you have a wood backer you have the actual words and another decorative wood piece that you can adhere and then there's actually a wood um what is this thing called a shelf a mantle a stand there we go couldn't think of the word um it's optional of course um it will be included in the january box but it uh, will be also available on my website. It's just like an add-on if you're purchasing individual pieces, but you probably already have an easel or something that you can have. But the way that these are set up, I'm kind of doing this on the cuff here. Hopefully this works. Like if you were sitting it against a wall, it could certainly like lean just fine, right? So you don't have to have anything to sit it on. So that's what a box will look like. I'm gonna go ahead and get this box back up. And so if you give me a moment here to come back with my materials, I'll be able to show you what the end product could look like. And I put emphasis on could because you are obviously not limited to the design that I create, the stock photos that we create um, to give you inspiration. Even the colors that I send, of course, as a um, monthly kit, one of the promises that I'm making is that you'll have everything in the box that you need. 99% um, I would say of items that you need to complete the project in the box. Again, with the exception of like a command hook or strip or something, if you actually want to hang the piece, we won't include any hardware. But if you happen to have crafting supplies and you just want to think outside the box and don't really, um, want to stick with the traditional colors that are included you by all means could certainly include um Tammy no you could certainly include other color options for your decorative piece right little bottles of acrylic paint you can get from Walmart for like 50 cents so it's really not um that much if for whatever reason you just have to have pink on this side or yellow or orange and for this particular one I'm including traditional black white gray um, maybe green blue I'm still just kind of packaging this one up to get that started again before I get into crafting I want to show you the February one so it's all wrapped up but I'll um, create one here um, in a couple of weeks so that you can see that one too but it's a kind of big tag with a small tag and then the XOXO goes on the big tag and then the love and the heart goes on the smart on the smaller tag excuse me and then I have this washer um, that will kind of adorn this twine and ribbon included again to make it stand out now that's the way that the design was originally kind of put together but you're not married to that right so if i were doing this i would probably do a black background with xoxo in pink and white um but you might want to do a red background with xoxo in white and black right so i just want you all to remember that you'll be seeing me get on in the coming months to create these crafts yours does not have to look exactly like mine all right so i'm gonna get set up to create this and you can hang out with me for a bit and get this video turned off so that you don't have to listen to Cam drink his water. I'll be right back. <laughs>
Okay, so it took absolutely no time for this to dry. If you get any fibers from the um, wet wipe or the baby wipe, just try to brush them off, but it's probably not actually going to be fibers as much as it's going to be the wood itself. And uh, you know what? It being a little textured, in my opinion, is perfectly fine because wood crafts aren't actually perfect. So that dried in no time. You saw me using the makeup sponge to dab the paint onto these. These also dried in no time. And because they are cut using a laser, they will naturally kind of have a dark tone on the side. So in my experience, you don't necessarily have to paint the sides of these if you don't want to. If you also saw me dabbing paint on them kind of back and forth, the same way that you dab paint to get the color on the wood, you can continue to dab and it'll actually pick up if you have any excess paint. And so what I'm gonna do now is just kind of position my words up here. However, you know, I want to, not really sure, but I'm just gonna play around with that and get them glued on and then we'll be just about done with the sign. Um, is obviously or the eye has a little dot so you want to make sure that you don't misplace that and figure that out i don't know what this is going to look like when i'm all done but hang out with me for just a few more minutes and we'll get this on finished up complete so really cute appropriate all year round particularly at the beginning of the year of course because the best is yet to come for us um, in 2021 but I just adhered all of the wood pieces no rhyme or reason to that wrap the twine around no rhyme or reason to that you could totally leave the twine off you can certainly change your colors if you want to um and this is kind of like a faux shiplap look with the slits in between 
You don't have to worry about getting paint on the inside of that if you don't want to, but you could certainly use the back side of the board if um, you don't particularly like the faux shiplap look. So you could, you know, definitely use this side and paint and apply your words here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I am going to, Cammie, come here. Sorry guys. I am going to probably put this up in my foyer. Um, and so the last thing I wanna show you here is that if you happen to get one of the um, kind of DIY wood easels, they basically just snap into one another and then you can sit your sign on it like that. Um, I only am trying to think of any notes that I need to add. I just tied knots in the back of my twine because I could technically use it on another project later um, if I wanted to do something different or change my mind and take the twine off. But you could certainly um, put a dab of glue on the back of it and keep it in um, a bit more secure if that's what you want it to do. So I'm trying to think. I think that's it in terms of last minute thoughts and thanks for hanging out with me and let me know what you think about the project. And again, the link is in the description box if you want to get something like this. Depending on the time that you see this will determine what cycle we're on in terms of what craft we're offering because we offer um, basically a box a month. But there are certain cutoff dates and stuff sells out. And so just kind of keep an eye out and make sure that you are following me to get updates. One of the best ways to do that is to subscribe to my email newsletter because I send all that stuff out via email because, you know, the algorithm and the way that stuff works on social media varies. But certainly also follow me on Instagram because I do a lot of posting in my stories, even if you don't see any posting on my main feed. But I think that's it, guys. The best is yet to come. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.